Right, hi. Um, this is uh, <sighs> been a long time since I've done um, a journal or uploaded. Um, so this is a journal for my friend Jean. As you can see, it says Jean's Sewing Journal. Um, start with the outside. I've got some really nice little sewing charms. Um, if you can see them, let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. It's got a little sewing machine, uh, a little tape measure, a little ditty pair of scissors, some thread, some more thread, and some buttons. Um, I didn't cover the spine uh, this time because um, I actually saw this paper in um, Bunnings wallpaper and I swiped it because I knew I was doing a sewing journal and it had bobbins and pins um, on it but actually I only took a little piece and the way I had to cut it that bit ended up on the spine instead of on the front or the back of the journal where it would have been seen um, so the only way you're going to see that now is if I keep the spine uncovered, which I'm, I'm going to do. Um, I've attached the charms using a little eyelet, um, so they can be taken off if they get annoying. Um, okay, uh, the, I've obviously got book corners on there, and the closure is just two little eyelets with a ribbon going through, like that. Okay. So um, on the front cover, I've got some, uh, I've covered it with a pattern, sewing pattern, just glued on, and the usual little intro that says, this is your vintage sewing journal. It is completely unique. There is not another one like it in the entire world. Please do not be afraid to use your journal. It is a place where you can make a record of your projects. You can stick photos, tickets, drawings or samples in all the little tuck spots, pockets and envelopes provided. You can draw, scribble or stamp in it. What you must not do with your journal is leave it in a drawer where it will be forgotten and not used. The maker hopes that you will fill this little book with all sewing achievements and photos and pass this on to someone special one day. Please enjoy your journal. It was hand handmade with love by Anita. That just goes in the front page. Um, I've got a little uh, sewing thing here. A um, little pair of vintage scissors, which are just held in by a little ribbon. A um, little needle book, some pins. And just a little ribbon, you can stick pins or safety pins, and that's been sewn in. Um, so, into the actual journal, got some sewing themed stamping all the way through. Um, the lovely thing is, my friend Jean had a, a very good friend pass away recently, and um, she left Jean all her quilting materials, and Jean gave me a whole load, and I've used them throughout the book. So just as a little, uh, you know, memory for Jean, um, I done a little piece of patchwork which I scanned, and I've used that on tags and things throughout the journal as well. You can see here. All the papers have been tea dyed. That's been sealed down. It's got just a little private note for Jean in there for her to find. That's one of the patchworks that I've done um, using the fabrics that Jean gave me from her friend. This is a little Sizzix pocket die that I've um, covered in sewing pattern paper. This is patchwork, patchwork Pieces, Laura Ashley. This is uh, hiding my centre signature in there. So it's all tied, all the tied up pieces in there. This was a little book of needles 
that again came from Jean's friend. I've scanned that and just use it. Saved it in my vintage folder. And again here, that's the front of it and that was the back of it. Uh, there's a little dog there, there's a reason for that. My friend Jean actually owns a kennel and I got to meet Jean when we bought our Labrador from her as a puppy. So we've stayed friends, we've now got a common interest of sewing, um, we go to quilting class together and she's just a really kind, generous lady and that's why I wanted to make this journal for her. That just says thoughts. There's a bit of my zentangling on the back there. A bit of sewing, I've done a bit of sewing all the way through really, here and there. That says love this and this. Some tags, I've used my um, Tim Holtz Oxide dyes, uh, inks. This was a Tim Holtz sticker. Came out of a book by Tim Holtz. It's another stamp. Again, there's another bit of the patchwork that I done. That's the sticky fabric from Tiger. Love that. These are just enlarged. Um, a friend of mine got me a vintage sewing box from a second hand shop, gave it to me for my birthday and it was just full of loads of little bits and pieces and um, all things like this, all vintage and old. So I've scanned them all and um, I keep them on my computer now and can make them bigger or print them off and they make good little tuck spots. Just a little bit of ledger paper. It says create, that was a Tim Holtz rub off. That's just got a little bit of plain paper in it that's open and some sewing on some tags just a bit of plain paper there plain paper again that's my center signature some glassine bags um, I stuck one of them through a Sizzix embossing folder came out really nice I'll show you in a minute so that's just a bit of plain paper out I think yeah. just a little tag so, um, this little bit of trim was from Jean's friend as well this project from a tin Tim Holtz sticker book. Just some stamp it, um, stenciling. Oh, that's a little glassine bag. I don't know whether you can see the texture on that. Let's see if I can get a bit nearer. There you go. That came out really well. There's some stamping on there. washi tape, Martha Stewart punch on the corners, favourite fab fabrics, that was a, a book that Jean's friend gave or bequeathed and um, I just photocopied it. It's very old. It says ideas. Bit of sewing pattern gessoed over. Bit of sewing. Bit of uh, alcohol inks. Uh,
just a bit of watercolour paper stuck in. And that came off the front of a sewing magazine. It's just a bit of uh, selvage at two yards. What oh, she's going to use that for? Timeless. And I made this and projects. Inspire. Little doiling. More sewing. That was from her friend as well. And this. Uh, just stuck some, or sewed some buttons on there. It says create. Just to stick some photos in really. Another little dressing bag that's got some uh, for English paper piecing. Just some little hexagons. And that just says Jean's wish list. And it's just got a bit of paper in it. So that's that. And go up like that. And I'm not going to make a bag for this one to go in because Jean has got the most amazing sewing room and she's got a shelf with some books on it so I'm thinking it's just going to stand up quite nicely on the shelf. Um, I hope she likes it. Thank you for watching my video. Um, I do appreciate you giving me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and I always love to get comments. So thanks very much.